Hi guys, this is Sir coming to you live and direct. Today we're gonna try out the Kenwood mixer, food processor. What we're gonna do today, we are going to mix a bread dough and we're gonna see how it is gonna be, how it's gonna work. The first thing I need to show you, the attachment that it comes with, but we are not gonna use all these attachments. We are just gonna use the one that looks like a hook so we're gonna put the other ones aside and we are just gonna use that one to mix our bread dough. Our ingredients for our bread dough is gonna be a sugar, we've got our yeast, we've got plain flour, salt, and we've got butter. The purpose of this video is just to show you how this machine works in mixing the bread dough. So next what we're gonna do, we're gonna attach our equipment here our attachment now it's very simple to attach this attachment because it's you just have to put it in here and then you're gonna hear a click once you hear a clicking sound that's it it's tight you have to make sure that it's tight so first we're gonna do we're gonna put the flour that we need then we are going to put our little bit of salt butter and for a yeast we have to allow this yeast to grow we put it in separately leave it to grow one side and then we put everything together then we're just gonna put our machine down So we've got a thing at the side here, a notch at the side, a button, and that will allow us to put the machine down. Just have to make sure that this is locked. Then we put a cover on. Moment of fruit now, we are going to start this bad boy. You start at the slowest speed, so it starts at minimum. Even though it's there, it's mixing, mixing nice. We at this point we haven't got any water in here. We are just mixing our dry ingredients. We've got our flour, we've got the sugar, we have got the butter, and a little bit of salt. Okay, I'm just gonna increase the speed a little bit more. So we are at, at the moment at speed 2. So what you want, you want it to become a bit loose. So the butter must mix and become loose. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this mix for about 2 minutes and then I'm going to come back. But what I'm going to do during that time as well, I'm going to increase the speed a little bit more so that it can mix a bit faster. Two minutes later, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, guys, after two minutes, we are back now. So what we need to do after two minutes, we need to just scoop our bowl here. Just scoop it around the side and bring everything like in a heap or like a mountain, just where the hook is. If you notice that it's it's mixed but then at the bottom you've still got some white flour so it's not catching everything so that means it needs some more mixing so all we do now is put this on securely and then we continue mixing speed free We are gonna come back at next three minutes to see what it looks like. Okay guys, now we have mixed this after three minutes. Now I just would like to show you something that it's 
now you may want to take into consideration now after three minutes this is what it looks like all the ingredients now it's gone like to the side of the bowl ideally when you start this um, food processor to mix it you want the ingredients to be in the middle like a mountain so what we're gonna do we've got our yeast now so we've got a bubble there so the yeast is ready we're gonna put our yeast inside So that's our yeast. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna create that mountain I told you about. So we're gonna scoop all our ingredients from the side. Just scoop it to the middle. And if you notice the texture of the ingredients here, it's got this nice rolly texture. That's the texture you want. The butter's disappeared and it's gone into this fold. All right, we put our cover on and then we start with the slowest speed. Make sure that the bowl is secure. I'm at speed two. guys I've got one clean observation to show you now if you notice as it's mixing this part is going up and down so it's just up and down I believe the reason for that is because it's uh, probably it's the hook is probably touching on the bowl but I'm not hearing any scrape or anything but that's just one observation I would like to point out to you does this part because I'm, I was expecting it to just be level and not moving but it's just keep on moving even if I try to take this out it still moves so it has nothing to do with the lid or anything I've added some more water to the dough and this is what it looks like after mixing for like a minute or two now this part is really moving as I told you, I don't know why. Alright, I've removed the cover so that you can see what the dough looks like. Looks quite nice. I'm just going to increase the speed a little bit. So really and truly, you want the dough to mix for about 3 to 4 minutes. Then you check the texture of the dough and if you have to add some more flour, you add more flour. It mixes in quite nicely. The only problem is this that's shaking. I think that's how it meant to work. So it's just moving up and down. I'm going to let the dough mix nice and lovely and then I'm going to come back to you and show you what it looks like. Regarding the observation with this mixing like that, with this part shaking, so the safety measure is that you always have to make sure that this is firmly on the table. It's got some stickers underneath here so it doesn't move. So just make sure that it's on the table and not on a table edge, otherwise it can fall. Now, if looking at our dough, it's really coming nice. It looks very smooth in its texture just have to leave it for like a minute or so and then after that I'm going to take it out so you can see what it looks like. All in all the time that it took for the mixing is probably about 10 minutes. Well, after our dough has been mixed now we're going to stop the machine. Alright guys I'm just going to show you the texture of the dough after it's been mixed. I'm going to use a bit of flour. Just to put on it. Now this is what the texture looks like. Really nice. It's very smooth. And it's all been mixed in. You can't find any lump or anything at all into it. Notice. This is what it looks like. No lump. Very smooth mixture. So I'm just going to put this back 
into the into the mixing bowl and this is gonna leave there to rise it should be it should double the size after raising Thank you. So dough has been left for about two hours and this is after two hours what it looks like. So we're just going to remove the cling film at the moment and what we're going to do, we're going to make a pan loaf bread. Just take some flour out, just to sprinkle on it, take it out nice. Okay, and we're just going to put it into the pan. This is what it looks like when it gets into the pan and we are going to put it in the oven next to see how it's going to bake. Now if you notice the bread it's got a bit of brownness to it. This is because of the sugar that we've used. It was deliberate because we wanted the bread to be brown. We didn't want it to be white. So just a bit of brownness to the bread and that's because of the sugar. If you want the bread to be whiter then you put brown, then you put white sugar. So we have got a combination of microwave and oven. It's got conventional oven and we're going to use the conventional oven part. We put the bread in here and we are going to bake it for about 15 minutes. After which we are going to check it to see if it needs more time and then we are going to add more time if necessary. So that's the bread started there and it's baking there and we're gonna keep checking on it to see bread is finished now so we are just gonna take the bread out this is what it looks like when it's in the oven it's very hot and the bread is finished baking it's very nice golden brown and it I haven't tasted it yet I'm gonna wait until it gets warm and then taste it our bread is baked now and it's nice and golden brown this is what it looks like so what we're gonna do we're just gonna take it out from the pan put it on the cutting board and we are just gonna cut the bread to see how it looks inside very nice bread look and it's all baked nice and lovely okay so that brings us to the end of our video and thank you can you subscribe and we've got more to show you we're gonna show you we're going to make salad with the other videos and to test our Kenwood machine to see how it works.